Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we're taking an underhood tour of the 2021 Hyundai Elantra with the two liter engine. So an overview of the engine bay, all the major maintenance and service points, and a quick how-to on how to change the air filter. For 2021, the all new redesigned Hyundai Elantra base engine is a two liter naturally aspirated Atkinson cycle four cylinder as equipped in trim grades SE, SEL, and Limited as I have here. This engine has been used in the Hyundai Elantra since 2017 along with quite a few other Hyundai and Kia vehicles. As equipped here in the Limited model with a continuously variable transmission Hyundai calls IVT, the 2 liter engine is rated by the EPA at 31 mpg city, 41 mpg highway, and 35 mpg combined. The base model SE is rated slightly higher as it has an idle start-stop system. It's rated at 147 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 132 pound-feet of torque at 4500 rpm. Like many in its class now, it has an electronically controlled thermostat that allows the computer to micromanage the engine's temperature for better fuel efficiency. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts up front at an air box that breathes through a snorkel behind the front grille. It then travels down to a throttle body mounted low and into a composite plastic intake manifold with two-step operation. Though it has modern features like variable valve timing for its twin cams, it still does the job with port fuel injection instead of the direct injection that's sweeping the industry. For servicing, the engine compartment is simple and well laid out. The brake fluid reservoir is located at the rear driver side of the engine bay. Next to it is the 12 volt battery and adjacent to it is the main fuse block. You can easily access the fuses by removing the plastic cover. A fuse removal tool is provided just inside. Windshield washer fluid and coolant are right up front on the passenger side and also to the middle. Note that access to the alternator and the AC charging ports is also quite good. Checking and filling the oil is also a snap with both the cap and the dipstick clearly seen on top of the engine. With the engine sound cover removed, you can see the coil packs for the spark plugs which can be serviced with easy access. The air filter element is located inside the main filter box at the driver side of the engine compartment. Changing the filter requires no tools and is easily done by simply popping two metal spring clips and lifting the box top away. Simply remove the filter element to check or replace. Reverse the process to install a new filter, assuring the rear tabs of the box cover are aligned for proper sealing and latching down with the metal clips. Just be sure not to scrape your new filter element on the metal clips or pinch it in the box cover. And that's it. And that is it. This is a very well laid out, easy to work on car when it comes to the engine bay. Hyundai and Kia have kept it simple and I like that. So if you do your own servicing, if you have repairs to do, you're going to find this a good place to be. Now, if you like the video you just saw, subscribe to TDTV Garage right down there. We've got a lot of other stuff just like this or just see our latest video right there. Either way, stay tuned.